Welcome to the Edge YouTube channel. My name is Tony Snyder, and today I am going to be unboxing the ESAW Renegade Bolt. So this is a Renegade uh, stick loader. It's the ES200i, so it can be stick or hand or TIG, uh, from what I understand. I've never used this machine. I've never ran it, so it's all new to me still. Um, what, currently, what I use is a uh, the ESAW Rebel 205 IC that's what I normally do. So this is going to be a fun new uh, machine to try out, and the best part about it is the battery outfit. It runs off the full wall battery, and that makes it totally mobile, uh, mobile welder. So looking forward to diving in, showing you all what it comes with, talking about some of the features that it has. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Unboxing. Let's do it. Love diving into this. Simple startup guide, walk you through everything you need to know just to get started. And then here we got the four port charger from DeWalt, here's the DCB 104. Great charger, it's a fast charge, actually works great. All right, then we got the strap for the welder to be able to carry it over your shoulder. And uh, the total weight of this package with the box and everything was right around 100 pounds. It actually showed up freight on a pallet or LPL. Some of the batteries, it is the yeah, new wall flexible 60 volt max, 12 gauge. There's going to be four of those. Pretty solid batteries. They have actually been working really well. Yeah, they really packed a lot, of, a lot of stuff in that one box. They packed it in nice and neat. Didn't waste very much space. And here we got the, uh, the pigtail, the, two, the 120 to 230 adapter. There it is. Beautiful looking machine right there. So this is just the Renegade Volt. This is the machine without the battery pack. Um, and this could be ran on uh, just as is. We can plug it into the wall and stick weld and TIG weld from there without the battery, battery pack option. And there we go, we got the ground clamp. And then we have the Stinger and pretty heavy duty. Feels pretty nice. It's a 200 amp Stinger. This is where the magic happens. Uh, this is the battery pack, the little cord that's going to go into the back of the welder. The uh, battery slide right in there. machine will set something along that line so when you're moving it around the shop you can easily carry uh, the entire unit put together and if it's a little too heavy for you then you can just detach them and carry the machine and the, uh, the battery pack separately or one in each hand or just sling the whole thing over your shoulder with that strap that I showed earlier and this is going to be the starting guide just putting the these little metal brackets onto the bottom of the uh, welder one piece will go here and here on the bottom of the machine there. Luckily, the setup on here is real simple, um, basic tools. Oh, yep, the drill works. So I'll screw those down. I didn't want to go too tight because I didn't want to end up stripping it or anything like that. So I just did just a little snug.
carefully flip your machine back over. That's it, put it in place. See that snap right there was a really solid uh, piece. I'm really glad that they made that. Um, as strong as they did, it really holds tight and that's a key feature so things don't fall apart. All right, we've got some other steps to follow. Um, on the back of the machine, there's a little knob to switch from wall power to battery power. First, we're just gonna check out this pigtail. At least that's what I call it, a pigtail. Yep. Here we can see the ground clamp and the stinger, or the electrode holder, a 200 amp electrode holder, and the ground clamp. Both feel pretty solid. All right, let's dive into this charger here. So once again, it comes with the four port uh, DeWalt fast charger. It's the DCB 104 model. Um, it plugs into a regular wall outlet at a 110, 120 power. And actually does a pretty good job, charges pretty fast. And you're going to want to make sure you give these a nice full charge before you start using them. And there we go. So that's going to be plugging in the battery power into the back of the machine. And there is a top where that arrow is, is the top of it. So that goes up kind of like a little twist and lock mechanism so it doesn't just fall out and that right there to the left is the knob to go from wall power to battery power all right fully charged ready to rock and roll let's go they go in nice and easy slide right in they also kind of lock in place a little bit so you have to push the button to get them out that's good charge there we go battery power ready to ready to weld so that was the first time turn the machine on which is exciting <laughs> just like that pretty much ready to go not much more to do other than some uh, little settings here and there These are the functionality that it comes with. You can pick your batteries. Uh, you can go with some different size flexible batteries and with that setting, you'll just tell, tell the welder which batteries you have. So far, it's been really easy to use and set up. There really isn't a lot to, to do. It's kind of just plug and play for the most part. So similar to a cell phone, you got your brightness. Um, I try to keep it low because I want those batteries to last as long as possible, just like on your phone. And so amp mode, that is a hybrid mode or amp plus, and that's gonna be where it can run off of wall power and battery power. And so if you have a, a fluctuation in, you know, your power coming from the wall, counteract, make it one solid well, you know, one solid current. I haven't used it yet, but it looks like a really cool feature and definitely good for areas that don't have, you know, really good power source. All right, we're just going through all the settings here, just showing you guys what all what all comes with, what all the options are. 
and what you can change. I personally did not change much between when I turned it on the first time and when I started welding. So here, easily switch from a stick to TIG. I don't have a TIG set up for this, but maybe one day I will get one. It's nice to be able to save some of the settings for, uh, you know, whatever you need them for quick and easy to have them ready and uh, on the package it says that this machine can weld on a full charge about uh, 30 electrodes at 530 seconds so I've actually done some welding with this and I'm gonna say that it's right around that 30 mark I welded uh, quite a handful of different rods different sizes and different positions and it's right around that 30 mark so that's a good that's a good amount of electrodes good amount of weld to produce on one full charge. And my plan personally is to always have a backup set of batteries so I can just swap, keep going for jobs that are out on the road. So here we got a nice stable arc is welding really nice um, you can see the amps on the machine, how they're, you know, what I'm actually at. Doesn't skip a beat whatsoever. I think with this right now, I'm welding a 7018. Hey guys, once again, I'm Johnny Snyder with Johnny S. Weld. Thank you for watching the video of unboxing the ESOL Renegade Bolt. Awesome machine, hope you guys enjoyed it, learned a lot. If anyone has any questions, feel free to reach out on here, leave a comment, hit me up on Instagram, um, however you need to call me. But um, shout out to ESOB, awesome machine. You guys knocked out of the park with this one. Part two of this video is gonna be welding and showing the capabilities of the actual machine uh, performing um, while welding. So. Tune in part two. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That helps me out a ton. And also, um, don't forget to like and subscribe to Esob's YouTube channel as well as Edge Welding Supplies channel. Like and subscribe. By the way, you need this shirt. It's on my website. Get it.